Hi, in this tutorial I'd like to show you how to create a multi-channel drum uh, with uh, Easy Drummer, which is like the light version of Superior Drummer from ToonTrack. Uh, so first things first, we have a, an empty new document and I'm just going to drag and drop Easy Drummer onto it. It's already loading the one of the default drum sets, but I'm gonna switch to the jazz drum set. Doesn't matter which drum set you load, uh, whichever is available. Next, I'm gonna open up the groove and look for a sample that I can use to uh, test it with rather than having to play stuff on the keyboard myself. This one sounds okay. I'm going to kind of drag and drop it into Ableton. Let's look for another one. some of the toms going so let's grab that one as well okay I'm done here I'm gonna open the mixer this is where things are at oh no let's first check what's going on uh, what I have now here is I can play these these are now MIDI tracks so I can now play these as if I would have created them myself so there we go. So as you can see, the Easy Drummer plugin is in one track, a stereo track. But if I wanted to, for instance, add an effect or some reverb or maybe a limiter or a compressor to w one of the instruments like the bass drum or the snare drum, I can't. Uh, especially not with Easy Drummer because it doesn't uh, do any effects uh, inside the, the VST plugin itself. You just have a basic mixer, but there's, there's no effects here. What I want to do now is get each instrument uh, each instrument, the snare drum, the toms, the bass drum, into a separate track in Ableton. And uh, here is how you do it. Open the mixer. And as you can see here, the output, all the outputs for each instrument. So this is, these three are the bass drum, two snares, there's a hi-hat, three toms, uh, overhead, and chamber mics. Uh, all of them go to track one. Which means if I uh, play them they all go to the same track if I click on one of the outputs you can see I have the option it says which one is currently selected and I can select one of eight or I can select stereo uh, or multi-channel if I select stereo nothing's gonna happen because it's already in stereo mode if I select multi-channel you can now see that the bass drums, all of the bass drums uh, mics are now going to track 1, the snare top is going to track 2, snare bottom track 3 and so on. And that's exactly what I want. But if I now play the sample, I will only hear the bass drum. because now this channel is acting as channel 1 and I need to make uh, additional channels for every uh, mic or output that I want to uh, capture in, in Ableton. 
So for now I'm going to close this. I'm not going to change anything here. I'm just going to leave it as is. But I'm going to make some changes afterwards. So just close this. Uh, next thing to do is right click on the on the track that has uh, the Easy Drummer in it and select Group Tracks. What it did now is it created a group for me. Uh, with Easy Drummer in it and I'm gonna add an audio track to it and I'm gonna duplicate this for as many channels as I wanna capture so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight notice that I have all the audio tracks inside the same group so if I collapse it they're all hidden if you happen to have one outside you can just drag and drop it inside the group and there you go uh, no big deal so next thing to do is uh, assign the in and out of uh, all the audio tracks and you do that by selecting the I.O. button here and I need to do some similar things for all the audio tracks, so I'm gonna shift click so I have them all selected and now here in the audio from I want the audio coming from Easy Drummer so audio from, I'm gonna select Easy Drummer here and I'm the monitoring should be set to in so I'm gonna do that for all of them so I just select one of them and you can see all of them change that's only because I have selected all of them at once. If you don't you have to do it one by one which is well a bit slower. So that's a fast way of doing that. Uh, next I need to select for each channel and you have to do that for each channel. Uh, I have to select which uh, output they want to represent. Uh, in this case this is going to be the first one, second one, third one, and so on. Notice that it says easy two, easy three, four, five. There is no easy one because that is automatically sent to the first track. And that's why we heard the bass drum earlier. So this is the bass drum, etc. Uh, personally, I don't like this setup, but it works. And I'm going to change it in a few minutes. Uh, but that's, and that's just personal preference. Anyway, if I now play uh, one of the tracks, you should hear the drums again, completely. see that the snare drum was displaying here etc so all the tracks were displaying as they uh, just as I wanted them <laughs> 